Millions of people around the world want to know the answer to this question. Is the HIV vaccine finally coming soon? If you also want to know when an HIV vaccine might become available and which vaccines are currently leading the race, then watch this video till the end. Because in this video, we break it down all the burning questions you might have in mind. So let's get started. Despite effective antiretroviral therapy, HIV remains incurable and continues to infect over a million people each year. A vaccine would be the ultimate preventive tool, potentially ending new transmissions, reducing dependency on lifelong medications, and saving millions of lives. Historical challenges in HIV vaccine development. Rapid viral mutation. HIV's reverse transcriptase enzyme lacks proofreading ability, causing the virus to mutate rapidly. This constant antigenic change makes it difficult for the immune system and for vaccines to target stable viral structures. Trial failures to date. Over three decades of vaccine research have produced more than 30 candidates entering clinical trials. Unfortunately, most failed to elicit strong or lasting protection. Even when some vaccines induced neutralizing antibodies against easier to neutralize strains, they did not work broadly against the more resistant variants. Why an HIV vaccine matters. Despite effective antiretroviral therapy, ART, HIV remains incurable and continues to infect 1.5 million people annually. A vaccine would be the ultimate preventive tool, potentially ending new transmissions, reducing dependency on lifelong ART, and saving millions of lives. mRNA vaccines, a new frontier. Moderna plus IAVI partnership. Moderna and the International AIDS Vaccine Initiative have launched the first HIV mRNA vaccine trial. Their strategy is to prime and boost B cells toward broadly neutralizing antibodies using mRNA lipid nanoparticle technology. Early safety and immunogenicity data are expected over the next year. HVTN trimer mRNA study. The HIV Vaccine Trials Network is evaluating an mRNA-delivered trimer-stabilized envelope protein to see if it can safely induce neutralizing antibodies in healthy adult volunteers. First in Africa trial. A parallel phase one study in Rwanda and South Africa is assessing safety and immune responses in diverse populations, critical for ensuring global vaccine efficacy. T-cell-focused vaccines. Vire Biotechnologies HCMV vectored candidate. Veer Biotechnologies' approach uses a human cytomegalovirus vector to generate persistent effector memory T-cells that recognize multiple HIV proteins. Early enrollment in healthy adults is underway, with initial immunogenicity readouts planned soon. Proof-of-concept studies. Preclinical work showed that cytomegalovirus-based vectors can induce robust, long-lived T-cell responses in primate models, justifying the move into human trials. Combined B2 and T-cell strategies. Research combining neutralizing antibody immunogens with T-cell vaccines in animal models demonstrated improved protection at lower antibody levels and better durability. Long-acting preventive agents. Lenacapavir, a twice-yearly shot. Gilead's capsid inhibitor, Lenacapavir, is delivered as a subcutaneous injection every six months. In early studies, it achieved over 95% reduction in HIV acquisition among high-risk groups, paving the way for Phase 3 efficacy trials. The evolving PrEP landscape. Beyond daily oral PrEP options like Truvada and Descavi, long-acting injectables promise to improve adherence and access, especially for populations facing stigma or structural barriers. Gene editing and cell therapies. CRISPR-based excision therapy. Excision. Biotherapeutics is pioneering a CRISPR-mediated approach to remove integrated HIV DNA from infected cells. Their Phase 1 trial demonstrated safety, though viral rebound in some participants highlighted delivery and potency challenges. AGT-103T Gene-modified T-cells American Gene Technologies AGT-103T therapy uses a patient's own T-cells, genetically engineered to recognize and destroy HIV-infected cells. Early safety data show promising immune activation, with the goal of achieving a functional cure that eliminates the need for daily medications. Clinical trial landscape and regulatory pathways. Phased progress. Phase 1. Safety and early immune response. In Phase 1, researchers give a new vaccine or treatment to a small number of healthy volunteers. The main goal is to make sure it does not cause serious side effects and to see if it triggers any immune response, such as making antibodies. Phase 1b or 2. Early signs of effectiveness. 
Once safety is confirmed, phase 1b2 trials enroll more people, sometimes including those at risk for HIV, to look for initial hints that the vaccine or therapy actually works. This might involve measuring how well gene therapies edit cells or how long a long-acting injectable stays at protective levels in the body. Phase 3. Large-scale proof of protection. Phase 3 studies are much larger, hundreds or even thousands of participants. Here, researchers compare groups who receive the new intervention versus a control group to see if it truly prevents infection in real-world settings. Success in phase 3 is usually required before a company can apply for approval to sell the product. Regulatory considerations, clear signs of protection. Regulators need reliable measures, called correlates of protection, to show that a treatment works. These can be lab tests like neutralizing antibody levels, tests of T-cell activity, or evidence that the amount of hidden virus in the body drops, adaptive designs, and surrogate endpoints. To speed up approval, trials may use adaptive rules that let researchers adjust the study as it goes. For example, changing dose or adding more participants based on early data. They may also accept surrogate endpoints, short-term lab or imaging results that predict long-term benefit, so they don't have to wait years for infection rates or clinical outcomes. Regulatory considerations. Approval will hinge on clear correlates of protection, such as neutralizing antibody levels, T-cell function assays, or reductions in viral reservoirs, and may employ adaptive trial designs and surrogate endpoints to speed licensure, future directions, and timeline. If current candidates meet safety and efficacy benchmarks, 2025, anticipate regulatory filings for long-acting PrEP, Phase 2 mRNA studies expand. 2026. Expect mid-stage immunogenicity readouts from T-cell vaccines and gene therapies. 2027. Potential approval of the first preventive HIV vaccine or functional cure intervention. These timelines depend on trial enrollment, endpoint achievement, and continued funding support, public health implications, and equity. Global access will require scalable, cost-effective manufacturing, especially for mRNA platforms cold chain and delivery solutions in low resource settings, community engagement to address concerns and build trust, patent licensing and technology transfer for equitable distribution, conclusion and call to action. Research is at an unprecedented inflection point with multiple scientific approaches converging toward HIV prevention and cure. Until vaccines and cures arrive, regular testing remains critical. Early detection through RNA assays can identify infection within days of exposure. For quick, affordable, and confidential STD testing in the U.S., visit HIVRNATestGuide.com. We have more than 4,500-plus labs across the country with qualified and professional staff. Please check the link in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. If you want more health updates like this, subscribe to the channel, like, and share this video.